Thank you very much. Good luck. Now, I hope you're ready for this. Here comes your first question. It's worth £100. Complete the name of this Welsh band. Manic Street. Cars. Sweepers. It's good. You've got £100. Here's question two. It's worth £200. In the garden, what is a sprinkler? Flower. It's good for £200. Now, here's question number three for £300. Which word describes a baby who is born early? Preposterous. Premature. Well done, you've got £300. Now, you've got 300 quid, but you could still go away with nothing. I'm sure you won't, and I hope you don't. But have a look at this next one. It's worth 500 pounds. The carry-on star with the surname Jakes had which first name? Kenneth. Sid. Joan. Hattie. Correct, you've got 500 quid. Well done. Don't forget, you've still got all three lifelines. Use them if you need to, that's what they're there for. Now, the next question guarantees you a thousand pounds if you give me a correct answer. Have a look at this. Which field of business is concerned with recruiting and managing employees? Human beings. Human natures. You seem pretty sure. You're right to be sure you just won a thousand pounds. Oh, well done. You got a thousand pounds. Now that's guaranteed. Whatever happens now, you'll walk away with at least. £1,000. But have a look at this next question. You might as well play it. It's worth £2,000. Peter Ebden and Ronnie O'Sullivan are known for playing which sport? Squash. Darts. You're going for D. You had a thousand pounds guaranteed. You've now got two thousand pounds. Okay, now it's getting rather serious. The money starts to go up and up at this point rather fast. You've got two thousand pounds. You're nine questions away from one million pounds. This question is worth. £4,000. Which of these is a member of a university's teaching staff? Brom. So you're saying B. It's the right answer. You've got £4,000. Well done. Right, you're doing well, you're doing brilliantly. You've got £4,000 at this moment. The next question is worth £8,000. Here it comes.
Which of these women did not present Blue Peter? Susan Strengths. So you think it's A. You had £4,000. You could have walked away. You didn't. You've now got £8,000. Brilliant, you've got £8,000 and you're just seven little questions away now from one million. If you get the next one right, you double your money to 16000 Have a look at this. Proverbially, what is known as the staff of life? So you think it's A. You had £8,000. You didn't have to play. You did. It was the right answer. You've just won £16,000. Don't forget, you've still got all three lifelines. Use them if you need to, that's what they're there for. Right, you've got £16,000. Now, you can take that 16000 but you're just six questions away from £1 million. The next question, if you go for it and you get it right, is worth a guaranteed £32,000. Have a look at it. Good luck. What item of clothing is given to the winner of the US Masters Golf Tournament? Blue tie. White hat. You're going for D. You did have 16,000 pounds in your hand. You've now got 32,000 pounds. You've got £32,000 guaranteed. It's in the bag. No one can take that away from you at this point. Now, the next question is worth £64,000. You might as well play this. You can't lose. Take your time. It's becoming very big money. Here it comes. What kind of creature is a bulbul? Fish. So you're saying B. You had nothing to lose by playing this question. And you haven't. You've just won £64,000. Take a look at that. It's nice, isn't it? A cheque ready for you for £64,000. But we don't want to give you that. We could well give you a cheque. The next cheque is worth £125,000. Now, you are at this moment just four questions away from £1 million. Have a look at the next question. You don't have to play it, but it's worth £125,000 if you can give me the right answer. Which prize is awarded annually in the USA for writing and music? Smithsonian. Carnegie. You're going for D. You had a cheque for £64,000. Not anymore. You've now got a cheque for £125,000. Now, 
I can write you out a cheque at this moment for £125,000. Feast your eyes on that. But we don't want to give you that. We'd like to give you the next one for £250,000. Take your time. This next question is worth a quarter of a million pounds. Here it comes. In which century did Attila the Hun live? So you think it's A. You had a hundred and twenty-five thousand pounds in your hand. You didn't have to play that last question. You could have walked away. You've now got a quarter of a million pounds. Right, at this point, you are just two questions away from one million pounds. If you do give me a correct answer to the next question, you win 500,000 pounds. But if you give me a wrong answer, you lose 218,000 pounds. It's question number 14 of 15. Take as much time as you need. Have a good look at it. Good luck. Who wrote the play Noises Off? Tom Stoppard. Joe Orton. You're going for D. You've just risked an awful lot of money on one question. You had a quarter of a million pounds and you could have walked away. You've been very, very brave. Your reward is a cheque for £500,000. Half a million. Well done. Don't forget, you've still got all three lifelines. Use them if you need to, that's what they're there for. Right, you now have a cheque for £500,000. But we don't want to give you that. We really do want to give you a cheque, and we could, in just a minute, for £1 million. You've answered 14 questions out of 14 correctly. It's time now for the 15th and final one. You don't have to play it. This is worth one million pounds if you can give me the right answer. Here it comes. What is made into a spitchcock to be fried or grilled? Poussin. Lamb's kidney. So you think the right answer is C. Are you sure? You just risked £468,000 by going for that answer. It was a risk, and you knew it was a risk. But it was a risk worth taking. You have just won a million pounds. You've done it. Fantastic. Congratulations. You are a millionaire on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs>